Hey guys, it's Bree. I wanted to talk to you about The Circle by Dave Eggers. I just finished this book, I think last week, and it's interesting. Um, it follows a young woman, May, who gets a job at what's essentially like the company that ate Google and Facebook and Twitter. And she is really super grateful. It seems really awesome. Like they really care about culture, you know, corporate culture and involvement in the community. It's like the kind of place that seems too good to be true, right? Um, which is an interesting in and of itself because a lot of a lot of tech companies kind of sell themselves that way. And when May gets there, she starts her job and she's so grateful to be out of her like small hometown, not working in her like soul draining desk job. It turns out that the corporation that she's working for, called The Circle, um, is starting to introduce more and more different programs that are pretty invasive. Um, putting up cameras everywhere so you can see what's going on at any given time and stuff like that. May becomes more and more involved in it, more and more kind of protective of the circle and the kind of things that are going on there without necessarily thinking about it. Um, this is an interesting idea um, because I think it can feel this way a lot these days. Um, the internet is kind of an increasing presence in everybody's lives um, and it can feel like you're always expected to be online, right? That's kind of another thing that the book talks about is the social pressures and expectations that go along with the internet and social media. As far as the book goes, I was not terribly thrilled. <laughs> um, I think I gave this one like a two and a half out of five stars. It, it, it puts a lot on the idea of non-action, that people are just going to accept increasing and really invasive presences in their lives. And I don't know that I think that that's true. You know, want them with the presentation of the argument being that we should see everything that you're doing. I don't think that if you present things to people in a way like, we should know everything that you're doing so that we know if you're doing anything bad and then we can punish you. That's not how you're going to be getting these cameras and these invasive technologies into people's homes. And that's how Eggers has this company do it. And I don't buy that. I don't think, I mean, Google right now has already had just ridiculous numbers of monopoly claims and has had breaking monopoly suits throughout the world. Like they've had it in foreign countries. They've, you know, been threatened with them in the U.S. I don't think that there's going to be a company that gets much bigger than Google. Um, and I certainly don't think that out of the blue, there's going to be a company that gets to eat Google. Um, that's another thing that I thought was really problematic. As far as the character building in this story goes, it made no sense to me. Um, it may has people on all sides, all of her family, all of her old friends being like, this is not such a good idea. And she's just drinking that corporate Kool-Aid and being like, no, we should know everything everyone's doing. And it's okay that I'm putting cameras in your house with no regard for the fact that like her parents don't want cameras in their bedroom and they tell her and they cover the cameras up and she gets all mad and like, I really just don't think that when that people totally will disregard their loved ones like that. I didn't make, make sense to me that she would be so blasé about like her family's privacy and not value privacy at all. Um, it didn't make sense to me that she wasn't critical when, you know, that she, w it didn't make sense to me that she like, got over the fact that somebody put really private information of hers on the internet for everyone to see. It didn't make sense to me when, you know, she abandoned the guy who she supposedly liked for a guy, for a different guy because he had an internet presence. Like these things don't make sense and I didn't think that the connections that Eggers made for them was very well done. A lot of the side characters are really just figureheads for Dave Eggers to rant about privacy and corporate accountability. And to me, that undercut 
a lot of the subtlety that could have gone in. Like this is the least subtle book that I've ever read. Um, and I think it really, it misses the point about how insidious things can be, right? Like it, we're never just gonna all of a sudden be like, yes, please put cameras in my bathroom. That's a slow, gradual thing. And that's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that's going to all of a sudden be present everywhere. That's something that has to really sneak into the public if it's ever going to happen. Um, and I think that he just really, he loses out on really reflecting the difficulties that we have with balancing public and private in an internet age by doing that. There are plot holes in this so big you could drive a truck through them. Um, there is a character in particular who is trying to get May to like help destroy the company from within, right? And it turns out later on that we find out that this character actually probably could have done that himself. Like there's no reason for him to bring May in on this at all. Just some of the things that he does with the plot are so overly convenient as to just make the story tedious. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of the topic. I think it could have been done so much better. Um, and there's like nothing subtle in this book at all. <laughs> Overall, I gave it like a two and a half out of five stars. It was okay. Um, I see how people like it. It just wasn't for me. If you've read The Circle, let me know what you thought of it. Um, I'd really be interested to hear. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week and I will talk to you later. Bye.